want to know how to make 8 cross 8 LED dot matrix droplet project then watch this video till the end. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jatin. Welcome to robotics.io. Let's start building the project. The components required are 8 cross 8 LED dot matrix display, the microcontroller which I am using that is Arduino Uno, Arduino cable for uploading the code. The sensor which I am using that is MPU6050. It's a 6 axis accelerometer and gyroscope sensor. You can use some connecting wires breadboard that is a breadboard large follow this circuit diagram to make the project the link of circuit diagram and code is already given in the description you can check it once what this project is all about this project makes the dot on 8 cross 8 LED dot matrix look like they are pebbles in a container. Tilt the device on one side and the dots fall towards that side. The same goes if the device tilts to the other side. The zip file of these libraries are given in the description. You can check it once. So you here you can see that this is one of the zip file. You just have to extract it. Arduino. And here you have to select two files that is I2C Dave and second one is MPU6050. copy files to clipboard and I'm just pasting the file here on the desktop okay that's it now what we have to do here Windows C Arduino libraries and MPU6050 and I2C Dave these two libraries you have to just drag it and drop it here in this particular library it is already there for me so I'm not doing this step this is I2C Dave and this is MPU6050 so these two libraries are very important for making this project now let's download the third library so here LED matrix driver you can download this particular driver you just have to click on this particular link so you will be able to download the zip file after downloading the zip file let's move on towards the Arduino now what we have to do here you have to click on sketch include library add zip library here you have to click on downloads and just click on LED matrix driver and click on open that's it it is already installed in my system so it is showing me one error message so this is the way you have to download all these three libraries now what we have to do it's time to upload the code so for uploading the code you have to click on tools and the board which you have to select that is Arduino Uno and port you have to select it as COM6 that's it and now what you have to do here you just have to click on upload that's it the code started uploading in the Arduino now it's time to do the testing Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you soon again next day with another brand new video. Bye bye and see ya.
Hey everybody, today we are going to make a very exciting project. The name of the project is Snake Game. This is a 2-axis joystick. There are two potentiometers are used in it. This is first one and this is the second one. And let me show you the axis. X-axis, Y-axis. So this joystick is used to control the snake. We can change the movement directions of the snake using this joystick. So let's see how we can play this game. So every time the snake is catching the apple, a beep sound is coming. So buzzer, buzzer is notifying that yes snake you caught a apple. And just okay 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 yes. Now down it seems pretty interesting game ok now i am out the ingredients required for cooking this recipe are breadboard 8 cross 8 led matrix display a joystick buzzer arduino uno arduino cable some connecting wires and a led Wait, wait, wait. One more ingredient is required for cooking this recipe and that is your love and support. First, let's connect the joystick with an Arduino. VRX pin we have to connect to pin number A3 that is the analog pin. And VRY to analog pin A4. And the remaining two wires, these are ground and VCC. So we'll be connecting that wires later. Connect it to the positive of the breadboard. And this blue color wire to the negative of breadboard. Let's do the connection of 8 cross 8 LED matrix display. VCC, I'll be connecting it to the 5 volt and this blue color wire is the ground. Let's connect it to the ground. The CLK, we have to connect to pin number 8 of the Arduino. CS, we have to connect to pin number 9. And in the same way, you can connect the DIN pin to pin number 10 of the Arduino. So the joystick and 8x8 LED matrix display connections are completed. Now we just have to do the connections of buzzer and LED. Let's do that. Buzzer and the positive of the LED both are connected to the same pin number. That is pin number 3 of Arduino. The connections are completed. It's time to upload the code inside Arduino. So I am using an Arduino cable and the other side of the cable you can just insert in the laptop. Here you have to search LED control library. Now code and download zip. You can see that a zip file is downloaded. Now you have to come to Arduino ID. Click on sketch, include library and add zip library. Here you have to select downloads. And there are two zip libraries, both are same one, you can just uh, click you can just select any one of them open might it can show an error yeah it is showing one error because that library is already added now here what we have to do you can see that this is the overall code in the starting it is telling us that the buzzer and led it is connected to digital pin number three this is the code for snake this is the code for the apple and here it is telling us that 
the DIN pin is connected to which digital pin, CS pin is connected to which digital pin and so on. And the rest of the code. Now what we have to do here, it's time to upload the code in Arduino ID. So click on tools, select Arduino Uno. port com6 that's it now you have to click on upload it's time to do the testing of our game okay every time the snake catches the apple okay i'm out let's try again got one apple another one I'm chasing the another one. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. I missed the chance. Okay, I'm out. So you can see that it is working absolutely great. Thanks for watching everyone. We will meet another day with another video. Till that, bye-bye and take care.